Hello and welcome to another video and today I'm going to show you how to get Grognux the Barbarian's Axe and Clothing. These are two unique legendary items which you can get in Hubris Comics, which is just here in the uh, southeast part of the map, just north of the castle there. So yeah, it's in this kind of messy area of stuff. <laughs> so um, the entrance looks around here, you can find it easily by that big blue truck and there'll be a dead guy out here by the entrance and some stuff you can loot. Now we're going to Hubris Comics, the one with the blue door. Once we're inside, we will, um, there'll be some ghouls roaming around and uh, it'll be in this display case. Now I've already uh, locked into this. This is an advanced lock. Uh, it's advanced so you do have to lock pick it. If I just turn on my light, there we are. Grognut's Axe. Now there is this terminal here which is advanced, so that might also open it. Uh, I'm not too sure though, since I can hack nice. into it. So here's the axe, hits cause more stagger, and target takes bleed damage. 38 attack, speed medium, weight 10, value 100. So it's got a 10 to 1, uh, 100 weight to value there, so it's still worth picking up even if you're not interested in using it. Uh, my character is very low strength, strength of 3. So not really a melee based character so if you've got more strength that attack might be higher now after you've um get to the top of the building you have to go up like three or four floors there's lots of ghouls around you'll find this little stagey area and over in the corner here you have the costume yes now this increases the wearer's strength by two and increases your melee damage so the working conjun conjunction really well and it's also got fairly decent stats in terms of defenses so let's try it out against our old friends, the Super Mutants. Yeah, just making sure it's not a suicider. Let's go up and kill it. Oh, there's two more. So you do get quite a few hits in bat spirit, which uh, I find is really useful. Since melee weapons, I find the best used in bats, since you get that extra defense. So he goes down, we've got this giant mongol thing. We'll take that out in two hits. Let's quickly use a uh, stim pack. That, uh, this character's not built for just charging out the open with a melee weapon. I don't really usually do melee in Fallout games. So let's do a critical hit against this guy. And one hit. Yep. Since it's a very powerful melee weapon, my character's not built at all for melee. No perks in it, no nothing like that. Low strength. <laughs> So yeah, so that is Grognut the Barbarian's axe and costume. See, lowest strength there. Yet it does get increased by the costume, which is very, very useful. So if you wear this and you got like a strength of nine or ten, then you're not gonna have any trouble dealing damage. And it only takes a chest piece, so you can put what you want over the the rest of uh, your body. Got lots of different types of armor. So yeah, this is just armor that I threw together. You know, standard leather, left leg, right leg, that kind of thing. So if you properly built your character around melee stuff, you'd already have some really good armor. And then you'd get be able to get more defense, that kind of thing. So I would definitely say this is one of the better melee weapon and melee sets in the game. If not one of the best, though I don't know fully what else is in the game. But it works. I was able to one hit that super mutant, three hit the one with armor and the gun, two hit the dog. That's more than what my guns can do at this point, so definitely very powerful. So yeah, it's worth picking up. You you do uh, get sent there on a mission by uh, Reese, I think his name is. You'll meet him by uh, where my last video was, by the uh, police station. You'll meet him in there, and he'll give you the mission to go here. I think it's his second mission. So yep, yeah, that has been Grognock Stuff. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.